I started fishing when I was pretty young, probably, I don't know, two or three, as soon as I could walk. And um, I used to have some of my folks to take me down the bus on the jetty. And one of my first fishing memories, or the most vivid one, was catching a salmon off the bus on the jetty. And I was proud as anything and screeching everyone that walked past that I had caught a salmon. I like going fishing in general, just to get out, or well, it's a bit of a cliche, but get back to nature. I mean, a lot of the places you do go brim fishing are nice remote rivers and they're somewhat untouched by man. It's very tranquil. You've got all these, you know, nice native native animals and sea eagles flying around and, and then you've got the fish under the water, which is what you're focused on. These days I spend a lot of my time fishing from a boat for brim but I almost enjoy it more when I'm fishing from the shore or waiting for brim. In a boat you spook a lot of fish, you don't have the greatest control, especially if it's windy, and you might blow over a lot of fish, especially on the flats. When you're waiting or, you know, walking along the bank, you can really stalk your fish, you can, you know, hide in a shallow shadow or bend over and, and you can stay in one spot and really work an area. And it, it, I find it, it always astonishes me, you stand in one place and stay there for half an hour and make cast after cast and you catch you know a lot of a lot of fish and uh, it is exciting also you you kind of one down on the fish when you land base because you don't have that maneuverability you have in a boat to get around the other side of a snag or you know across the other side of a river you've got to get the fish to you no matter what it takes when you are fishing from the shore and particularly when you're wading I think you take on a lot more than you recognise when you step into the water onto a flat, you know, you get, it's cold, your feet hit the bottom and you can instantly pick up what the fish are going to be feeding on. If it's muddy and silty, you, you know that the fish may not be feeding directly off the bottom, whereas, say, if you're somewhere in Oyster Harbour in Albany, you step in and you step straight onto a sharp bit of cockle, you know the fish are going to be digging up things all over the place and kind of detecting what the fish want on a particular day when you, you know you make the cast and work the lure right and you get the hit and you hook up and you stop the fish running back into the trees or whatever it is and you got it at your feet it's lightly hooked in the lift and you just flick the lure out and let it go it's it's a special kind of fishing that sounds a bit arty farty but you know i love it and i'll keep doing it for a long time <laughs>